right there. Uh, that is the, um, the way I started this cartoon the other night. You see it, like, flashing there. Had to keep going back to see what my text was. Uh, it is... Da -da 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 uh, December 5th, 2018. It's 3.01 p.m. in the afternoon. So I had this idea. Uh, I've been wanting to do this subject for, like, a week. Pointing out how Republicans, uh... Just love to go after Alexandra Ocasio Cortez. Um, it's like she's replacing Hillary, Nancy Pelosi, Elizabeth Warren, Maxine Waters. They're just really, really going after her. Um, and it's kind of silly, the stuff that they're doing. I mean, they're, they're ripping into her um, for, like, for one thing, when she said that she couldn't afford a place in D.C. because she's going to have to go, like, three months unemployed. And that's, like, a real problem for a lot of people. And the conservatives were mocking her for it. But at the same time, you probably are not aware of this. Um, there are over 50 Republicans in the House who sleep in their offices because they cite the, how expensive it is in D.C. But nobody's laughing at them. Not on Fox News, anyway. I'm kind of laughing at them. Ha ha, you sleep on the couch. But, um, but anyway, and then they, they poke pointed out that she wore nice clothes, you know, like she went to TJ Maxx or something, and said, what do you mean she can't afford a place? Look, she's, she's wearing a nice skirt. Oh, what a young hypocrite millennial. I mean, Washington hasn't seen a scandal like that since Obama put mustard on a cheeseburger. I mean, it's crazy. But anyway, I had this idea. I had this subject for a couple of days, and um, I had the same idea the night before, and then I was debating whether or not I should have done it last night. Or had done something else because there was a whole terrorist thing and there's a few other things and there's a French thing, there's a North Carolina thing. It's hard to choose. But I also kind of wanted to, to take a break from Trump. I got this other idea, idea that's not on Trump at all and I'm kind of like looking forward to it. I'm going to do it at some point. So, but we'll see. But anyway, um, I like Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. Um, she's going to be the youngest uh, representative in the history of Congress when she takes office in January. I was trying to draw her here where she didn't look too much like her, a young Ruth Bader Ginsburg, but I, I might have failed with that. I think the smile might have, take, might have succeeded with that. I mean, with her not looking like that, so we'll see. I already drew a crappy poot in last week, so let's try to make at least one caricature look kind of like somebody. Um, and then I had to work on these guys. Um, uh, Poses, their stances. I think I spent like uh, 24 minutes drawing her. Today's video is like 10 minutes and 30 seconds. And I'm going to try to kill it right at that point too. Not go over any. I need to give you guys another 5 minute video, don't I? Um, but I was having a hard time getting this idea too. Um, because everything else was just kind of lame. But then I came up with the tomatoes and stuff and I just kind of dug it. Also, but the, the big problem I had the night before uh, was I didn't have enough space in the cartoon for the guys throwing the tomatoes. Uh, the, the cartoon's actual size is like 10 and a half inches wide and I needed almost all of that for them to throw the tomatoes at her. And I really couldn't figure out how to do it. And then for some reason I thought of this layout uh, last night and I really, really was kind of excited about doing this because I don't know if I've ever done that before where I had like a sliver above the panel. If I have done this before, I haven't done it in like forever. So I also have another prediction since I did this, um, or not another prediction, a prediction. Uh, since I did this cartoon on the subject, um, before the week's over, I'm going to see like two or three more cartoonists do this. Uh, they're going to point out how the Republicans are after her. So... You're gonna see it because I am the trendsetter. Um, and there's nothing wrong with people taking a subject from someone else because I've seen car a cartoon before and I thought, I haven't done that issue. I need to do that. How come I haven't done that? It's not stealing an idea. So, and we all do the same subjects, but I think I'm the first one to actually do this. So I think we're gonna see some more very soon. Um, who wants some shout outs? Who wants some fresh hot shout outs? I'm going to shout out. I just got out of the shower, but I am not naked, so you'd be glad to know. And there's a cat sleeping behind me. He's glad I'm not naked, too. Not that anything weird would happen. Um, I don't like scratches. Uh, <laughs> he snuck out on me this morning, or he tried. I opened the door, and uh, 
he tried to squirm out between the door and I shut the door and I kind of clamped on him a little bit. Don't worry, Ariel didn't hurt him. But he was really, really so struggling to get out and I actually held him by his tail and then I had to open the door. And I knew I had a firm grasp of him and I had to pick him up. And then he's like, there was these bricks outside and he, and he had his claws like into the bricks. He did not want to come in. And you know what? He always likes picks the days when it's a little bit dreary outside or it's raining. That's when he wants to do that crap. Anyway. Stupid cat. Alright, here are your shout outs. Uh, Errol says, only offer editing tips because we love you and want you to be the best clay you can be. L O L. You're right. I just like to annoy me. Yeah. Alright. Um. And Errol, I, I haven't read these comments. Uh, I had a close call of the deer running out in front of a car once. Girl, I live in Mississippi. <laughs> that happened like every day. Deer, all the time, all the time, all the time. I never did hit a deer though, but I did hit a cow once. And uh, I, I should tell you my cow hitting story sometime. Because it's crazy. Um, Errol ended up on the grass median without hitting anyone or anything or anyone. But F up her neck. I'm, so awful. I'm sorry you hurt your neck. I really am. I uh, learned that I know what to do in, a, in an uncontrolled skid, at least. But in our area, we don't have that issue with cows much, or ever really. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I did hit a cow, yeah. And you know, normally people don't hit cows, but I hit a cow. Um, and I messed everything up. <laughs> everything was messed up. That's a long story. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, I, I don't really run into deer that much here. I'm sure if I went out in the country in Virginia, I'd see them. But when I lived in Mississippi, yeah, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. But I do see, I live in the city now, and I live not far from, from the interstate, and there are deer running through my backyard. Though I haven't seen one in a while, and I wonder why, but I used to see them every day. Sometimes, a couple times a day, they're here in the city. Uh, and Errol thinks, I think that your analogy about how asking people to sit down and watch a long video is like asking your friends to sit down and listen to a song you wrote, it's right on point. Then imagine that song you wrote was 20 minutes long, or even 10 minutes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, like your friend is in the Grateful Dead or something. <laughs> it's just brutal. I knew a guy, he'd come up and go, I wrote four songs, I write four songs a day. I'm like, are any of them good? Because it's like impossible for them to be any quality for writing four songs a day. But anyway, no. Um, and Errol says, you have no idea how happy I am to hear that you don't think you go back to doing 20 minute videos. Yeah, right. Yeah, I think it's a nice range too. Uh, Robert Cortino says, why would you go to Maine for the playoffs? Well, I didn't go to the Maine for the playoffs. It just so happened, you know. I went to Maine for the lobster, and I got some chowder. Um, had some great clam chowder up there, and really, really good lobster. Uh, and then I got burned out, and then I had a lobster roll. Well, one time I was in Maine, and I got um, lobster and this big old dinner thing, and, and it was around, like, lunchtime. And there was nobody else there, and I ate at the bar, and I had a beer. And beer goes really well with lobster. And then I went back to my hotel, and I saw the sign for lobster rolls. And my previous trip to Maine, I really, really wanted a lobster roll, but this waitress talked me out of it. She's like, you don't want a lobster roll. It's like a lobster sandwich. You don't want it. But then I saw the sign, and I thought, I got to try one of those. And it cost like 10 bucks. It's like in this really, really fresh hot dog bun, but it was really, really big, and it was great. It was freaking awesome and I was full I was stuffed already but I ate the thing in my car because I could not wait to eat it and it was delicious and I think I inhaled it and now I want one again it was awesome it cost like 10 bucks though um and Robert Coutinho is a funny girl. and Robert Coutinho prefers the 10 minute viewers now I'm thinking about that lobster roll man I gotta go back to Maine just for a lobster roll I didn't even buy it at a restaurant but it looked like like a meat market like a butcher shop but they had lobster rolls that's what it looked like to you. And I had to wait there like five, ten minutes for the lobster. You think that it looked like a salad. You think they could have just had that shit ready and just go. <laughs> Is there just in the bread? But nope. I had to wait for it. Well, we are running out of time. I'm going to. Ariel's going to bug to hear the cow story, but I got I, I have to warn you, it doesn't work out well for the cow or the van, the newspaper van I was driving that day. So, oh. anyway, um, 
That was like 1993 or four or something. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we are done. Click the red button and subscribe and leave a comment. You will get your very own shout out. And if you want to hear the cow story, just ask. And uh, maybe I'll tell you. Depends on how long the next video is. Uh, but I told you the raccoon story, but that took like three different videos for me to finally get around to it. And uh, share this on social media and come hang out tomorrow.